Hello and welcome to your first video in learning the tarot course. This is the basics course uh, that you are taking and I would like to in this video dispel a few myths about tarot and I'm going to teach you what tarot is and what it isn't and what it is used for and what it is not used for. Now first off tarot is not a predictive service. Tarot cards cannot predict anything in the future, what's going to happen or somebody's health or anything like that. Um, I face this misconception every day when I go live in my group. Um, inevitably, there is somebody that is going to come on and ask for um, me to tell them with a card whether or not something is going to happen or, um, or tell them you know, whether what they should or should not do. And we really cannot tell somebody what is going to happen in the future, especially when it comes to um, a third party or anything like that. Like, um, is my, my boyfriend going to come back or is this relationship um, going to resolve or, or anything of that nature? Because everybody has free will. So what happens when somebody comes in and asks you to do something like that? First and foremost, I would like you to make sure that you inform people um, when they do do that, when they do ask those kind of questions to inform them that tarot is not a, used for a predictive service. Tarot is meant for a much higher purpose. Tarot is meant to help um, yourself and your clients and in your family um, to take steps to better their, their lives and to um, help them discover even more truths about themselves and how to, you know, turn things around for themselves and what to really concentrate on in order to improve any situation that they're dealing with. Now, myth number two, um, there's been this thing going around that people think that you can use tarot to control other people. I don't know where that came from, but this cannot do that. Tarot cannot um, control any other third party, any other person. It can't even control the person that you're doing the reading for. I mean, you can do a reading for somebody and they can come back and say, well, that didn't work. And you ask them, well, did you follow the steps? And they say, no, well, that's why it didn't work. Um, we can only give advice. We cannot, um, uh, we cannot control a person's free will. That is up to them to do. It is up to them to take that action that we suggest and for and it's up to them to um, really transform their lives with their lives with the advice that we give them. It is most effective when we use it uh, to focus on ourselves or to help your clients focus on themselves instead of outside influences or other people. Uh, when you can help your client concentrate on that. Um, it, it helps them see the bigger picture. It helps them to be able to see that major point that you want to get across to them in what the cards are telling them in showing them about themselves and the entire situation. Now, myth number three, you do not have to be psychic in order to read tarot. Um, connecting with the cards in the way that I teach you to do so is very easy. And once you learn how to follow my methods and, and to implement them, connecting to these cards and seeing things intuitively will start to come very naturally for you. But it's not, uh, again, it is not a psychic power that you need. It is a, it's a skill that you can develop. And I want you to keep that in mind. So you don't have to be psychic in order to read tarot. When, 
when I teach you my methods and when you start getting into this and start making those connections that I teach you to make, naturally more and more is going to come in. I don't want you to be afraid of the things that are going to come in because those things that are going to come in are from your past. These are your memories. These are things that you may have forgotten. But once your brain starts making connections to one memory and another, then it is going to expand to other memories of similar instances in your life. And it will bring you more information and it will just improve your tarot reading. So don't be afraid when things really start to come in from out of seemingly out of nowhere. These are things that are coming in to your mind from your past. These are hidden memories. These are memories that have been kind of somehow locked away that you have forgotten about. So there's nothing to be afraid of when this starts happening. Rejoice when this starts happening because that means that everything is really working the way it should. Um, I, you, I cannot um, tell you that you should expect to become psychic because I, I can't promise that. Um, and if that is your goal, um, then this may help you um, with making those connections in your mind, but I cannot guarantee that kind of an outcome. You will, however, be able to intuitively connect with these cards and you will improve more and more as time goes on. Now, for myth number four, um, Tarot is not typically used for spells. Although some witches do use them for spells and I have used them before uh, a, a few times, not very often. I have used them a few times in some spells and rituals that I have done, but I always make sure that it is not the deck that I use for my uh, tarot readings for my clients. Uh, I have a specific set of decks that I use for that. And the decks that I do use, they are the Book of Shadows collection, which the link to those is below this video. And they are a wonderful, um, it, it's two decks and it's a wonderful collection to use for any kind of Wicca, re, Wic, witchcraft or Wicca or Celtic rituals or spells, if you're interested in that. Um, the reason why you don't want to use your regular deck that you use for clients is because the energies can transfer. And I'm not saying that any kind of witchcraft is negative. I, what I'm saying is you want those energies to be specific for your spell casting. And you want the ones for your tarot readings to be specific for your tarot readings. You don't want that energy to cross. Um, there, I'm not saying that there will be any adverse reactions. I'm just saying it is best for your deck and for your clients and for your readings in order to keep those two separate. Um, purchase a deck that um, is really clear to you uh, and only use that deck for that purpose. Again, like I said, you don't want those energies to, to cross. Uh, if for some reason you accidentally use one deck or you want to use a certain deck that you typically use for your readings, make sure you cleanse that deck uh, before you use it for your tarot readings. Oops. Myth number five, and this is a biggie. Um, again, we are not a predictive service. But I have people coming to me a lot of times in the group in my lives, and they want me to predict the outcome of somebody's health or their health. Again, please be upfront with your clients and inform them that you cannot predict the outcome of their, their health issue. Um, legally, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble and you can, and that can also come back on myself and on my business. So please make sure, especially if you're doing it in my group, um, that you let them know that we cannot use tarot in that fashion. We can, however, draw a card on the energy of the issue 
in their energy in specific uh, and see if there is anything that they can concentrate on to make this this issue or this this journey that they're on a little bit easier or to, to help them in any way possible. And that's what we can do. Um, we can give them other things to concentrate on. Um, like if, for instance, like if you were to pull a card on somebody's energy around a health problem and it came up with any card, it doesn't matter what card, um, read that card as if you're giving them advice on steps to take to clear their mind and clear their mind. Um, that is something that is pretty safe for you to do legally and um, it a lot of times that does help them uh, a lot of times with any kind of disease like you guys know or if, if you've been with me any length of time you know that I have battled cancer you know I'm still continuing to battle cancer I still have to go and get scans and and go in for blood work and and different things and mentally it can get grueling it can be overwhelming um so if there is anything that that card can say for that energy of that person that's asking to help them clear their mind and help them think about anything else positive um, other than concentrating on that disease itself is always very helpful for your clients, even if it's a free reading in the group, that one card reading. Um, so I advise you to do that. Um, we are not doctors and I want to make that, you know, abundantly clear and please make that abundantly clear to your clients if they need a medical professional, please seek medical help. Do not come to a tarot reader for any kind of, of medical advice or legal advice or anything, you know, like anything that may get you into legal trouble. I'm going to head that off right here in this very first video uh, so you can get off on the right foot and you can understand what questions that you can answer and what questions that you really should not answer when it comes to tarot, just to be on the safe side for you and for your client. Um, we always have to put our client first and their needs first. So that is always the first thing out of my mouth is if you need legal advice, if you need health and medical advice, if you need psychological help, anything to that in that realm, um, please seek professionals. Unless you are a professional counselor, unless you are a doctor, a licensed physician, um, then that's on you. Um, you can, you can, you know, if that is something that you want and that kind of advice that you want to give, you can do that. But please make sure that you inform them if you are or or not. And if you are not, please suggest that they get help. This includes, but is not limited to legal, health, mental, like I said, any other issues that would be best left up to any kind of licensed professional. You want to be upfront with your clients. I don't want anybody, uh, any of your clients or any of my students to get themselves in trouble with the law because of answering a question and somebody um, acting on that, uh, that question in getting yourself in trouble. So just please, for your own sake and for your client's sake, make sure that you're upfront with them with that, those kind of issues. Now I have helped students throughout the United States and in the UK and soon to be all over the world. Um, to learn tarot and to start their tarot businesses. And I hope that you get a lot out of this course. Uh, we're going to take it one step at a time. I'm not going to be uh, pushing you or anything like that to do anything out of the realm. Um, I'm not gonna be pushing you to do anything that is hard. This is really easy. My methods that I teach you are extremely easy for you to grasp and to um, 
put into action. And I want to celebrate your successes. So please, when you start, when things start to click, get in there in our private group because the basics course, no matter which course you're taking, um, there is a private, a private group um, for you to join. And I want you to post your successes. I want to hear and I want to see you in there celebrating those, even the little minute things that, that make connections with you. Um, things that you haven't learned before. So I want to celebrate them because they are worth the celebration because I know how hard you struggle because I've struggled with it before as well. Um, I explain these concepts to everybody um, that comes into my group, the Book of Shadows group and all of the other groups um, that are connected with my courses. Um, and a lot of times people learn things or they go through the videos or they read one of my books or anything like that and things just happen and it's shocking, it's surprising. Um, and again, I don't want you to get afraid of any of that stuff because it's always a good thing. It's, it's always a positive thing. So come in, celebrate, let me know when that happens. And I also explain it to my clients and I help them to make that shift um, and, and that perception with tarot from the mystic into the, uh, the, structured, um, the structured help that tarot is meant to be um, and to help them to take their life and their situation to a higher level and to make overall improvements in their life that really make a huge impact on people and to allow them to get the step-by-step -step instructions that they need. You know, some people need a really firm structure and I do have um, different structures that I use uh, for my clients that I will be sharing with you in this group as well or in these classes as well. Uh, so look forward to those videos as well. The key I want you to take away here is to understand yourself and to understand the capabilities of tarot and to understand your limitations with tarot as well uh, and to get a firm grasp of these. And this is what this video is all about. I want you to really, I mean, if you have to go through and watch it again, please do. I really want you to get a good grasp of these and what is what you should and should not be doing when it comes to tarot. I want you to be upfront and honest with your clients. Even those that, even when you're just starting out, um, I want you to learn to be upfront, learn to explain that we can't do that and, and learn to explain to them that we use, hot, use tarot for a higher purpose and that you would really love to help them through this problem um, by reading the energies of the issue and helping them to concentrate on you know specific things other than just that one main issue because when you think of anybody's issue it always goes deeper it's not just that main issue it is many underlying issues so we try to use tarot to help them concentrate on what is really underneath what is really the basis of that issue and then we go from there. Um, when you are starting to do those live readings, this is your chance to help us as a group and as an organization to help turn people's perspectives from, like I said, from the from the them thinking that it's a predictive service, from them thinking that it's all mystic, um, into, you know into that higher level of thinking, into that honesty of being real and have, and have people um, booking with you because you're honest with them, because you are upfront with them, because you are not trying and you're not acting like you're trying to scam them out of money by telling them just what they want to hear. You know, that right there is something that people will value above anything else is that honesty and that that forwardness and that upfront um, 
and that upfront way of thinking and understanding and communication with your clients. And again, finally, people are really sick of being scammed. I mean, I don't know about you, but I have seen hundreds, probably thousands of different people online that will just bring clients in promising them one thing and just scam them one scam after another, um, getting them to come back and spend more and more money uh, and not getting any results, but yet getting them to think that they have gotten results. Um, so I want you to be open and honest, not with just with your clients, but with yourself as well. And if you don't understand how a card connects with a situation, uh, be upfront and honest with them instead of um, trying to um, circumvent the situation or the card. The, your reputation is just as important as reading that card. Your, your reputation is what is going to take you further. It's what's going to make you or what is going to allow you to grow your business and to become known as one of those high quality readers. You're going to be known as one that is above and beyond what people normally think of when it comes to tarot readings and tarot readers. This is my goal for you. This is my goal for all of my students and for my business and organizations, which you are all a member of. So please keep that in mind and I am going to let you go now. Um, I, if you have any questions about that, um, about anything I've said here, please go to your group, your specific group, and ask in there, not the Book of Shadows group. You all have a private group. Go to that private group, ask in there, or send me a, a Facebook message and I will get back to you with the answer to your questions. Have a wonderful day and I hope this video has helped dispel some of the myths and helped you to see how beneficial tarot can really be for you and your family and your clients.